Hello boys and girls, my name is Hotsty and welcome back to Beltless Factorium where we do everything without belts, that's why we have loads of trains. And last time we fixed uh, the uh, some issues with our uh, uh, science production, but we also noticed that while we have enough science here sitting in the train, uh, basically not all labs are researching because there is just not enough throughput. So today we want to sort that out. And one of the, I mean, one of the things that we have to come up is with a better layout so we can uh, transfer and unload the science packs faster and with regard to uh, to transferring I think we have to do an experiment because we can use stack inserters or we can use fast inserters so is there the fast inserters has a radiation speed of 864 and the stack inserter has the same and can grab more but the the, the issue here is that we probably cannot insert a full stack um, but as the rotation speed is the same, I think we will have to go with the, with the stack inserters. Um, and then the other thing we have to figure out is, is a better unloading mechanism. The reason why it is the way it is down here is because the, the whole setup um, was designed to be a bit cramped uh, to fit into such a small squ uh, square. Uh, respectively, we decided that in the end we want for our research, we want to have two squares uh, vertically, but we still needed to have all the trains deliver at one end because in the beginning we had one square where train delivered around the edges but as we have more than four science packs um, we need basically two train stops per side and um, that led to train queuing where the front station blocked the back station um, and that was not good and we this setup we just did not have the the space for it so what i think we will do is we will mock up something here Basically, that's that's the unloading station. Um, as we have the station we need the station on this side. As we have it on this station and the station is too wide, We could try something like this, but we cannot pass the materials down there directly, so we need to have them go this way.
All right. And here we can then have our line of uh, stations. And here it becomes a bit tricky because if we have the unloading stations and in, in a similar pattern like here, we will need to pass materials from left to right and also from right to left. So what we will have here, we will pass everything down. And then we will pass everything over and do the same thing in the other direction and have that uh, balance so we have one in uh, one to the left and one to the right but what we then can do is copy this and do it again down here and maybe do that complete setup three times and that way we can um, if science packs coming in from this side if we cannot move them fast enough over here we can still move it down and then over here so maybe the top laps uh, don't get all the science packs but the further down the laps are uh, the faster uh, or the more science pack they should get so and then we need uh, seven stations so that's the next one we can fit in there and there that works out nicely we always deliver towards the middle of uh, of a lab and um, we need four more so basically that means two more to the right two more to the to the left and I think that should fit in a large large square and I am hoping that we can also manage with the the uh, exits and uh, entries so that uh, we don't run into into any issues so let me grab a few more rails a few more stations uh, maybe a few signals and then see if we can do the science production uh, or the delivery station uh, somewhere where it makes sense and then um, we can move over the, the science and the labs. I managed to find a spot and if we look at here um, it's nice and close to most of our science production uh, only uh, space science is uh, up here red science is up there but for all the other science the way uh, to the unloading should be pretty short um, everything is i think mostly centered here um have all the signals in cut these uh, uh pieces here so that uh, our trains are not yet coming in here and um we 
The only unfortunate thing here is the signaling here on the main line. You can see by the rail line that from here to here everything is one section. So in this part we can only have one train. So now next thing is uh, figuring out um, the the setup for the uh, labs and we already did that um, and we can just copy that in here uh, and as you see I'm crafting a few a few laps on on the go so now we can actually extend this thing towards this side and actually here we probably want to have two inserters going that way because we are not unloading anything to the left of here And then we can basically do the same thing towards this end. And also here, we will just move everything to the left. I mean, on the other side, we move everything to the, to the right. You, you see the pattern that we are going here with. Oh, cool. Uh, up here, we already have a bit of uh, power set up going. So, let's add a few of these power poles and run out of um, of laps and of um, of poles so next thing of course is extend this this whole thing downwards but for that i think i first grab a few more materials so we can have more labs and more power poles and from the third row down it will only be uh, we, we will no longer need uh, those stacking circles going left and right to distribute the, the materials and once we have a few rows in then I think we can switch over to this lab um, and we have to figure out what to do how to redirect uh, everything from the top to this this new setup but one thing after the other Five rows of labs are placed. The top three have this magic whisk going left and right to distribute the sun specs. And then we have two more rows that just uh, pass the sun specs further down. And these are the rows that we can later on copy down until we run out of space. So. I think we 
are good here and I did a bit of thinking how to uh, get to the point um, where we can uh, hook this up and I think the easiest way is we connect this here run up uh, to the other stations remove those stations and then those train should also come here and then once the uh, the science lab has run out of science packs uh, we can then uh, remove those science labs and add a few more down here so this is connected and the first train is already coming in I'm not sure uh, how fast this this thing will, will actually be um, so because basically even the new science uh, lab setup is behind this this gate of how fast we can can pass through the the, the sun specs so these ones can already pick up and here you can see they want to go to the station to the red sun's delivery station but down here trains are unloading and we can see over on on this side we have more of uh, the the yellow science packs because that's that's closer but eventually we should also see uh, those going through and by the looks of it we managed to uh, pass 12 packs uh, through at the time so looks like space science is a bit of a of a bottleneck so that's definitely something that uh, we have to consider solving at some point why oh okay all trains have left up here so let's pack everything up we will also need to to clean up uh, uh, the the rail stair a bit and this might take a while, so let's skip ahead until all this is cleaned up and I'm back down uh, at the new lab where we then can hopefully see uh, the research kicking in. We are back, we need to fix those uh, inserters, uh, that's probably a copy mistake uh, when I just rotated the other side and of course that meant that the inserters pointed up instead of down and by the looks of it we have quite a few um, quite a few labs supplied with everything 
aside from space science. So, and we actually are now in a, in a situation where the trains are not waiting here, which is a good sign because that means they are waiting where they can load things up and we can reduce the backlog there uh, and that should then kick in the production. But as we want to see how the, the research is going, I think what we will do for now is take this train and say, okay, you move to the next station and uh, we will have to wait for space science anyway. So that will probably be something that we need to, to figure out at some point uh, how to get more out, more space science. So there is the train needs to make the way around here and then coming in. And then we should see the labs lighting up, yeah. And if we manage to light up a good number of them, then I think we did a decent job with this setup. That's predicted. The ones here in the in the lower part, those are the first ones that, that get the materials. And curiously enough, even here to the side. Yeah, we can now we can see uh, it's it's a bit like a triangle shape here as well. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. So down here we are missing a few laps, and then here in the middle, but that should come in uh, shortly, and. As we are in infinite research, we need large amounts of science packs, but uh, each research cycle also takes um, quite a bit of, of time. And actually, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, if we... This one is 4,000. Yeah, only the number of science packs goes up, but not the good research time. So, 60 seconds for research is quite uh, a while. Um, and if the amount of laps that we can have is basically uh, the question can we get in 60 seconds a science pack of every variety to all the science labs and currently all science labs are running and we can then gradually expand down until we get to the point where we see not everything is lit up. So I think for now uh, these will do. That's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 times 5. Um, that's 150. 150 laps. So that's quite a bit. And as you can see, we make decent progress in our research 
but that will do for now and uh, next time we shall see how we can bring in more science pack uh, hopefully to the effect that eventually also in this setup we will always have the train sitting there uh, because this part here that we have to buffer a few sounds packs is uh, filled up and that should basically mean uh, on the production side uh, the buffer has emptied out but we will see uh, maybe in the next episode until then goodbye